I'm resurrected in my Lord, Jesus Christ. I don't need a second body in the next life. Let the spirit feed the spirit. I got the Holy Ghost. Raise my hand, speak it in tongues. The Lord redeem my soul. Now I'm living for the Lord. He restored my home. I have a testimony waiting to the next song. Let us praise him while we can because the rocks came. Let us praise him while we can before it's too late. The world is ending better known as the Armageddon. Chapter 16, verse 12 in Revelation. The Lord loves us or he wouldn't have sent his only son. Chapter 1, verse 21 in Matthew, son. We all struggle and we all got to have faith. Put yeah, off your own self. Looking at a movie and it just came Can't down. Do, it's huh? like my girl's like, look. I look out the window. It was a big white, white spark and it was real close like. I said, get out the window, just let it go past us, you right. know what I mean? Right. Just let it go past us, and it just went past us, and luckily it didn't hit the front part and nothing like that. But as soon as it, it's like a blink of an eye, man. It was like a blink of an eye. It just, it was real quick, that quick, you know what I mean? Because we went up there after that happened, and they gave us bags of food, they gave us bottles of water, they gave us clothes, they even gave us a ride to the armory to get more help. So they got a van that's helping transport people to a better resources. If they ain't got nowhere to live, they take you up to the armory where the armory has okay. cots and beds Sounds and has good. a shuttle bus to take them out to Drake. So yeah, KMOJ, that's a blessing. Without KMOJ, we wouldn't have had bags of food. God is good still, man. You know what I'm saying? Because he will place in somebody's heart for them to be able to, to do something like this, man. You know what I'm saying? Radio station come together, open the doors to put the food and clothes in it you know, water and stuff, and people are walking away, you know, in better spirits than when they came. I don't think the tornado is a God move. I don't believe in that because God doesn't really have to reach the people by disaster because if the Bible says he so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, why would he cause a disaster upon something that he loved? Mom comes to the door and goes, oh no, that's a tornado. Yeah, when, you, when you see it coming at 170 miles an hour, I cut off everything. By the time we got to the bottom, of our stairs, it was coming like a train. You could hear the whistling, and then the boom, 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 boom. Within three minutes, I, I mean, stuff came out the cabinet. Within three minutes, it was gone. Light was coming yeah, she out. She can tell you uh, her experience. It sounded pretty traumatic. Okay. Like, this weird, crazy noise that didn't even last that long. And so I was all shooken up. I was like, I don't think anything happened. And so I came up the stairs, and I saw the whole roof gone. Like half of the roof, they put the plywood on there, but then I just like started crying. I was like shaking. It was like scary. I was like, I can't believe I was just sitting right by this window. Some propane tanks and you know to empty the inventory out of our, our you know reserves and just to feed the people that are without and and you know just, just in distress right now, man. So this right. is just a really a way for us to really give back to um, to be true to who we really are. Right. You know what I mean and. Um, I just thank God we're in a position to do this. That's all. To do it. Ernest, I'm, I'm Brother CJ from Rochester, Minnesota. We heard about what happened uh, going on down here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So we came down here today to see is the community that's meeting y'all needs or the churches around here that's meeting y'all needs. Yeah, I mean, uh, as far as I say, I would say yes on both. Like, I mean, it's been like us, we volunteers. All my guys, all my friends, we've been out here. Nobody asks us to do anything. We've been out here the last two days. And then, like, I mean, down, like, in the low, like, the low area of, like, Minneapolis is, like, really improving. Like, over the last two days, you can actually get through the streets. You can drive through the streets. You can walk on the streets. We got a lot of trucks and stuff, construction workers cleaning up, like, a lot of the debris and everything and stuff like that. So, it's, like, it's being real productive at, like, a fast pace. Like, I mean, we got, like, Camo J. We got the churches all, like, applying, like, free food to everybody and stuff like that. And they're helping everybody throughout all the days. I mean, you got, like, a lot of perishable items and stuff that you can take to your homes. We got friends riding around in trucks and dropping off candles, water, like a lot of the necessities that everybody need to get through the night every single day. So I mean, it's definitely a plus and a positive. And I mean, it's like a lot of like a lot of people that's coming together. Besides the negativity that they keep trying to pinpoint on or whatever, but like the, the it's a lot of yeah, it's a lot of people coming together that's actually like helping out and making it and make sure there's like. I say make sure the people that's in the community are actually like able to like smile about something and feel good about their Amen. everyday life. So, I mean, it's it's a, it's a it's a big plus, and everybody's doing what they need to do. Okay, thank, thank you, brother. Hey, thank, thank you. Bro. God bless. Appreciate that. I say a prayer every night. Whatever I do, I'll get it right with no regret. No guilt, no shame this time. No, not this time. Once I surrender.